Hey friends, it's essentially Jesse. So glad that you guys are here today. We are talking about two of my honestly favorite fragrances. Like these are two fragrances that I have loved for quite some time. One of them is more of a new discovery in the last year. The other one I've had for probably two or three years. Love it. Anyway, um, we are battling out today Resendo Matu number five, that's the Floral Amber Sensual Musk, versus Mancera's Oud Vani. Now, I will start by saying that when I got Resendo Matu number five, I thought, this reminds me of something. And the more I wore it, the more I said, it reminds me a little bit of Oud Vani. So I thought, since these two are, in my mind, kind of in the same category, it's kind of like they're both blue. Like one's more navy blue while the other one's more royal blue, but they're both blue. Does that make sense? Anyway, so the more I wear these fragrances, I've actually layered them together. I will start this video off and say I love them both. So this is not going to be a, I hate this one, I'm actually decluttering it, or um, versus this one that I love the most or whatever. This is a true battle video. So let's get into it. So we'll start with Resendo Matu number five. This is a beautiful fragrance. I picked this up maybe in the last 12 months. Um, I, you can tell I've already put a pretty good dent in it here. Let me show you guys the bottle. I did a full fragrance review on this and I won't spoil for you, but uh, go watch that review because I think that this smells like a common food or dessert or food, I guess is what you would call it. But anyway, um, so there's a full fragrance review by me on Resendo Matu number five, Floral Amber Sensual Musk. So check that out. It's really, this is just one of my favorite fragrances. It's so good. Okay, so it was released in 2000, 2017 for 100 mil, it's $225. So it's not an inexpensive fragrance, but it is pretty long lasting. It has pretty good longevity, like long lasting and protection. And so I feel like, I don't know. Like, I really feel like this is going to be the new Baccarat Rouge 540. It's just that good. Like, it's amazing. And when people tell me that they like Baccarat Rouge, although these smell nothing alike, um, I kind of point, I'm like, Ch you need to check this out. Like, if you're looking for something new and you like Baccarat Rouge, then you need to check out Resendo Matu number five. So, it starts off with Lily of the Valley, which I really don't get a whole lot of florals in this. Natural spring sensation is in the top notes. Spices and saffron. So, getting right down to it, I get the spices and the saffron. Okay, the mid is carnation. Again, I don't get a ton of florals. And then the base is amber, musks, vanilla, tonka, and a little bit of strawberries. I don't particularly get the strawberries. You know, a lot of times there's notes listed, and I think, I don't get that. And then I'll smell the fragrance in six months, and I'll go, oh gosh, this smells like strawberries. You know, um, I kind of did that with the Bond Number no. 9 uh, Tribeca. Uh, it's got a very green opening that I really didn't notice until I'd had it a year or two. And then I was like, oh, the opening on this is very green. Like it's very different than the dry down. So anyway, things can change. Noses can change. Anyway, it's long lasting. It's unisex. I feel like it probably is dead unisex. Like I don't think it's too sweet for a man by any means. Um, I would love to smell this on a man. I don't know that I've ever smelled this on a man, but oh, it's just mind blowing. It's just Okay, next up, we have Mancera's Oud Vani. So I had ordered a travel atomizer of this, man, back in 2020, like right when, you know, everything shut down. And I had ordered two or three travel atomizers of fragrances that I thought I might like. And I got this one and we went to the beach. Yeah, we went to the beach. Man, I blew through that so fast. So I thought as soon as I can save up some money, I'm going to go out and get a full bottle of Oud Vani. I am almost halfway through this bottle. It is beautiful. My bottle is a little bit beat up, so I won't really show it to you. <laughs> to you. Um, I've taken this to travel. I've, I love this. Okay, so I'm going to do my little spray on each of the hand thing. Um, you know, sometimes I wish this was like a game show and I could be like, which one do you like? Anyway. I'm nerd. Sorry. Anyway, so while these aren't identical, they are a little bit similar. So 
Mansara's Oud Vinny definitely has the Mansara DNA to it. If you've smelled a Mansara, you know what I'm talking about. This was released, this is a 120 ml bottle. These go for $180 full price. Um, this was released in 2015. So this came out in 2015, this came out in 2017. So they're both fairly newer releases. Um, the top is Oud and Spices. I also get Saffron, um, cardamom which is really heavy and intoxicated by killian i get some of that and i think that's what kind of gives it a distinctiveness this is definitely unisex as well um the mid is delicate floral notes whatever that is <laughs> and guyac wood and then the base is incense woody notes vanilla sandalwood and it's it's beautiful like it's gorgeous. Um, I just love this fragrance. It's so good. It's so, like these are both a little bit gourmand to me because of that vanilla spiciness. Like, yeah. But the floral notes in them kind of make them, I don't know. It's almost like this ethereal smelling something or other where you're just like, smells so good but these two are both fantastic fragrances they are both niche fragrances so they are on the more expensive end sometimes you can find i know mancera's on like fragrance net fragrance x i don't know that recinova 2 has been out long enough to have that like be on the discount website or I guess is what I'm websites is what I'm trying to say but I feel like Oud Vini is a little bit of like a drier smell if that makes sense um but it's still warm and really good it lasts forever so these are both long lasting but I would say if you go in with four or five sprays on this it will last 12 hours Oud Vini is a beast of a fragrance and but it's not a beast as in overpowering it just lasts a long time and those are the kind of fragrances that I really like because I don't want to blow anybody away with my fragrance but if I'm gone all day and I don't like I don't stick it in my purse to refresh I want it to still be there I want people to still be able to smell it so in this battle well first of all if you have smelled either of these, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what a good description for both of these are because while I've done a full fragrance review on Resendo Batu number five, I've not, I don't think, done one on Oud Vinny by Mancera. But this is a, this is hard. Okay, so some of my battle videos are very clear and concise. And I'm like, I like this one better than that one. This one is not so. And I also, I think I already said this, but you can layer these together. They layer really, really well. So um, the winner of this battle is layering them together. <laughs> but if I had to, I always say, if they stopped making one and only made the other, which one would I choose? <sighs> this is really hard. And honestly, this is not what I thought I was gonna pick. But the winner of this battle is Oud Vini by Mancera. This is just such a unique fragrance. These are both unique fragrances, but this one, Oud Vini is so unique and long lasting and it's that spicy, that cardamom. It just, I don't know, it just draws me in. So anyway, the winner of this battle is Mancera Oud Vini. While I love uh, Resendo Matu number five. I wore it a couple of times last week. I love this fragrance. I had actually accidentally left this at the office and I'm taking it home today. Um, but I will be wearing these together and separately for a long, long time to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, click that notification bell. Also hit the like button if you are into battle videos. I can tell by what's trending like in the last 28 days on my channel, there are normally two or three battle videos in the top five. And some of them are from videos that I shot two years ago. So if you like battle videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to battle out. Thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.